Hey, what's up, good people? I'm QC. Welcome to a brand new edition of Talking and Grubbing. I'm about to grow up on some of this Pierre's Cherry Lemon Sherbet. Dev's about to get into this bowl. It's good. It's my favorite flavor of sherbet. This is good on any day. Whether it's hot in July or cold in November like it is in Cleveland right now. Put this down. Okay. Now, there's been an ongoing debate about low management in the NBA due to the fact that the L.A. Clippers decided to sit out Kawhi Leonard on back-to-back, -back, excuse me, on second night of back-to-backs. Now, it's drawn a lot, a lot of criticism from fans, fellow NBA YouTubers, and even Michael Jor Jordan. He feels that, you know, since he's the owner of the Charlotte Hornets, that he's pay paying all his players to pay 82 games, and former Hornets coach and current Orlando Magic coach Steve Clipper also agreed with Jordan that if players are not injured or they don't have any family emergency, that they should play all 82 games. <clears throat> and also, not only Michael Jordan has said that, but a lot of former NBA players have said that, like Carl Malone. He feels no player should ever take games off as well as Dennis Rodman who criticized LeBron James a couple of years ago for taking games off. Now, okay, I can kind of see where they're coming from, but this is a new era. You know, during their era, you know, <laughs> you know, they, you know, they were like Iron Men, you know, they all, they always wanted to play 82 games. They wanted to give their fullest, but now players now more than ever are being more conscious about, you know, injuries, they want to have longer careers. Also, they're thinking life after basketball. You know, prime example, Kevin McHale. He went through a ter terrible leg injury back in the 86-87 season. You know, he still played on that injury despite the fact the doctor told him that he should rest on that injury. And in my opinion, that injury cost the Celtics the 1987 NBA Finals against the Celtics. In my opinion, I think if Mikel would have rested that leg, I think the Celtics win another championship would have been greater. As a matter of fact, Mikel still has problems today walking, you know, because of that leg injury. And also, so I do think that some of that is Kawhi Leonard as well as the Clippers management. Now, there's been rumors going around that he's still having that nursing that knee injury that he was nursing last year with the Toronto Raptors. I don't know how true that is, but that's what they say. But I think people are kind of being too hard on these players, you know, for taking games off. <clears throat> you know, fans have to realize this is their livelihood. Yes, we pay, you know, our hard-earned money for the tickets to go see them play and also to watch some great games, some great competition. But on the flip side... You know, these players want to have long, well, long careers as well as, you know, full lives after basketball. You know, <clears throat> like a lot of people clowned Derrick Rose a few years ago when he was with the Bulls for wanting to take his time to nurse, you know, the injury he had that kept him out for the whole season, which I think was so wrong. You know, I think a lot of people did Derrick Rose dirty on that just because... He knew his body, you know. If a player can't go, when they if they say they can't go, then that's their choice. Then that's their choice, and it's their body, you know. Don't know about, a lot of players don't want to just go out there and half-ass. They want to give it their all, and I feel if you can't give a hundred percent of your effort, don't give it at all. So, 
you know, a lot of these old school players have to realize we're in a different era now. This is not their era anymore. You know, these are this is LeBron's era, Kawhi's era, Giannis's era. You know, this is not Jordan, Magic, Parrish, Bird, Mikhail's era. This is their time now. And they're trying to do what's best for them in their careers. Just like, you know, Jordan, Bird, Isaiah, and all of them were trying to do back in the 80s and 90s. Anyways, that's my take. What's yours? Do you agree with load management or do you disagree with load management? Leave it in the comment section below. Till next time, y'all have a good one. Love y'all to life. QC out, and I'm about to finish the rest of this sherbet. And now you can donate to Talking and Grubbing Media via PayPal or Cash App. Your donations will help me keep this channel going, and I can continue to produce more quality content. I greatly appreciate your donations. The PayPal link and the Cash App cash tag will be in the comic section below. Hey, what's up good people, it's QC once again. Now that you saw the video, subscribe to the channel. When you do, click on the bell icon so that way you won't miss any new videos from me and be mad. Let your family and friends miss those videos and let them be mad. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, like me on Facebook. Thanks for watching.